Red Velvet Cheesecake Brownies is one of the best inventions to have ever been invented. I have ate so many of these in the past three days and I've been, I've been happy. These made me realize that maybe life is okay. Maybe there are certain things that are worth living for. Have you been losing your will to live? Make these brownies. So, oh, you want to make the red velvet brownie batter first. It's essentially a regular brownie batter, but with a little less cocoa powder, more vanilla, and some food As coloring. you may have noticed, mine were not the reddest red. You can add more food coloring, but then your tongue will turn red too, which I mean, red is better than the white tongue you currently have. So maybe, yeah, Speaking more. of white tongues, I once had like this friend group. It was me and two other people. I don't know what the conversation was, but I brought up how I brushed my tongue. They were shocked. They did not know what I was talking about. I immediately decided that it was time for me to head out. They friendship. started asking me questions. They were like, doesn't that hurt? Huh? I did. I did try not to judge and help them instead. I hope I left a positive impact on that. Tongue. Anyway, I digress. The cheesecake batter, all you need to do is aggressively mix all the ingredients together. Then add it to the brownie and add a little salt. Please let these chill for at least an hour. They need time to set. Otherwise, they'll be too soft and gooey. Soft and gooey kind of sounds nice. I probably should have used different adjectives. Just let them chill, okay? Thank you. Bye.